I decided to go with a company from my methylene blue called CZTL and they're giving you a, a discount if you want to use it. It's $10 off. I think you put in Jane 10 at checkout and you get this discount. So I decided to use this though because it's USP grade. It's made in America. They send you a certificate that tells you its authenticity. And for me, that was important. If I'm going to be taking it often, I want to know this is the real deal and this is USP grade. That's why I went with this company. Um, but there are other ones that you can go with in India. And I've heard really good things about them. So that may be something you might want to explore. What you do is you take 100 milliliters of filtered water. It's got to be filtered. And I also have a little funnel to be able to pour it into my bottle afterwards. So you take the methylene blue and you add it to the water, stir it up. You need a spoon to really, you know, swish it around and watch this thing. It's really cool. It's, you'll notice I'm doing this outside. It is super messy. I did it in the house a couple times. Mm -mm, I kept spilling. It just seems to jump right out of the jar. Okay. See how that turns blue? What you're wanting to do, whoops, what you're wanting to do is, I'm gonna use this because I forgot to bring a spoon out. So you wanna stir it. Methylene blue works to put oxygen into your mitochondria because it's very low dose and that's all your body needs. And so you don't have to take very much of it. And you'll know that you're getting the right amount when you're your pee turns in the toilet. Everyone says it should turn blue. Well, it doesn't turn blue for me. It turns green because the blue of the methylene blue, once it is excreted, it oxidizes and that's what turns color. It's not blue in my body. It's only when it touches the oxygen that it turns blue. So you pee and you're peeing blue, but your pee's yellow. So blue and yellow make green. So the pee ends up being green. Now, what you want is a low level of this green pee in the toilet and that's all you need just this low level when it goes away it's time to take more methylene blue so everybody's different in how they metabolize this for me it takes 36 hours so I'm taking this like every two to three days because I just want a really low level in my body and it's you take it in the morning on an empty stomach so and I'm obviously doing it outside on an old stump make sure you have paper towels and then I just pour a little bit of it into this bottle. This for me is an old Quicksilver. Are you familiar with the company Quicksilver? This is one of their bottles. I've tried droppers. I've tried just using a teaspoon. I spill it all over. Okay. And then how much do you take? Okay, it's that easy, super easy. So I'm good. The stump doesn't care if it turns blue then I just take and squirt this in my mouth. Now, how much to take? Well, to help you answer the how much do you take question, you should first talk with your healthcare practitioner to make sure this is right for you and at what dose. Everyone's different, so what I do might not work for you. But in CZTL's experience, super low doses of methylene blue work well, and increasing the quantity does not necessarily improve the outcome dramatically. Start low from 0.5 ml and work your way up to 3 ml if required. 0.5 ml is equal to 5 milligrams when 1 gram is mixed in 100 milliliters of water. This is what I showed you how to do. It is best to use the measuring dropper provided to get 0.5 ml. It has markings to accurately measure this. 0.5 ml is the lowermost mark on the provided pipette. Beyond 3 ml, which is a bit more than half a teaspoon, always take the advice and guidance of an expert. Since methylene blue has a short half-life in the body, I mentioned I take methylene blue in the morning because it gives me so much energy. But since methylene blue has a short half-life in the body, in some cases, splitting the dosage to twice a day has shown to provide higher benefits than increasing dosage. And finally, to reduce blue tongue, suck on a vitamin C right after taking CZTL methylene blue. Now, the fun part, watch this. 
So you take this and it turns your mouth blue, like really blue, but it doesn't last very long. I'm, and I haven't checked to see how long, but I think it's less than an hour. So. Now look at this. It's um, pretty amazing for a while, but it, it goes down and it, it fades away. So I hope you found this helpful. Just make sure you do it outside. Make sure you get USP grade. Um, if you want to take advantage of the discount at CZTL, you can. But I think the bottom line is powering your mitochondria and with more oxygen and you'll feel it. And oh, I, I mentioned it before, but make sure you take it in the morning because it gives you so much energy that I took it late in the day one time and I found out that I, I just had too much energy late at night and that wasn't real good. So hope this was helpful.